button for me. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so my name is Ashley Burley and I am so excited and I'm sorry, I have my three-year-old who is attached to the hip and he's probably gonna come down here and talk. Um, but I'm so excited about tonight's Zoom. Um, I am loving these inspirational Zooms that we have going on every Tuesday. Um, my goal with this and uh, with a bunch of the other leaders was really just to bring um, so much packed into a short amount of time that um, would just leave you walking away like you, Hi. Like you can do this. Like you can succeed. You can do. You can do this business. So, um, I'm just so pumped for this one. Um, and hearing from Lauren and hearing a little bit about her story. So, without further ado, Duder, you say hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're Duder. Oh, I thought you said me. I'm like hi. <laughs> yeah. I'll say hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so real quick, um, I kind of want you just to go over a little bit about your story. There is Chrissy. Um, Chrissy. And what life was like before it works, and just a little bit about that, and then we'll get into like the nitty gritty stuff. So. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Lauren Murphy, Presidential Diamond. I've been in the business for four years, um, actually, this month, and like I just um, hit my four years. Life before it works, I was your typical path. I went to college, got a degree, um, got a job in corporate retail. I worked um, my way up in retail um, and was a district manager for um, a couple brands and had multiple stores in multiple states and like honestly thought I was living like my dream career. I made good money um, for you know my age and like where I was at my career path. And I literally like thought life was really good. Um, you know, we bought a house when I was like 24 years old and I felt like pretty, like I was doing things good. And, um, we saved a whole year for one vacation and I was like so excited. We even got to take like one vacation. And like, I would say like just the things that we were doing, like, you know, we didn't have much savings, but we definitely, you know, we had to budget here and there, but we, we were doing fine. We were comfortable. Um, I would say from the outside people looking in on us, we were successful. People probably thought that, and I'm not going to sit here and give you like a sob story that we were drowning in debt or things were tough because they won't, they weren't. Um, I actually met with my sponsor two years before I actually said yes. So the girl that um, I joined with went to my high school and when she first joined this business, I was one of the first people she contacted to do the business with her. And I met her at Starbucks. She went through her catalog and I literally was like, okay, I don't know what just happened, but no, I'm not interested in any way, shape or form. Um, we left that day and I still remained in contact with her on Facebook. Um, you know, my, the biggest thing about my story I like to tell people is, the girl never gave up on me. Like, even though I told her no that day, she knew in her mind that I was going to join her team someday. And so I will tell you guys, every time she went to an It Works event, I worked for Charming Charlie. If you don't know what that is, it's like a fashion um, jewelry retailer. And every time she had an It Works event, she would inbox me and be like, hey, when are you working in stores next? I want to come get some jewelry for my event. Um, every time. And then when she came in, she would come in and like, I learned later that she was, you know, that was like a big strategy of hers. And she was coming in to talk to me, build that relationship with me. Um, and, oh, awesome. That's fun. Hi, Danielle. <laughs> um, and so she was like building relationship with me and like constantly, you know, just doing like, you know, stuff that, um, I didn't realize she was still like building that relationship with me because she eventually wanted to start that. So if you have somebody who's told you no, but you just like know in your gut and in your heart would be amazing. Life changes for people every six months. And that's exactly what happened for me. Two years later, I um, had my son, my first son, he's now four and I got stretch marks. And so while I never had wanted a 
one of the products before. Um, I was super interested in the wraps and the defining gel after I had uh, my son. So as soon as he was born, I was a first time mom. I thought my stomach was going to look normal and it definitely didn't. And I was like, okay, I need some of those wraps and that defining gel. I became a customer. I was really amazed with my results. And I'm a sure, like by nature, like I will tell anybody anything. And I love, like, if I love something, I'm like, oh my God, you have to see this, you know, like, even if I don't think they'll be interested. And I actually was having a sell and dot jewelry party at my house. I was showing all my friends, my results. They were ordering from this girl that I ordered from. And she was like, why don't you just do this business? So basically I was taking my son to daycare, getting him ready for his first day, had a complete meltdown in the parking lot. I went back to work when he was nine weeks old. I was traveling for my job when he was nine weeks old. So I was like not only taking him to daycare, but I was going to have to travel that first week back to work um, overnight. And I had like a meltdown in the parking lot. And I said, there's no way I can take him to daycare. We're going to have to get a nanny, but I needed an extra $500 a month um, to budget for that. And so my husband was like, well, you better get a second job. And all I could keep thinking about and hearing in my head was, why don't you just try that? It works business. And so that's honestly why I said yes to the business. Um, I just was looking for an extra $500 a month to pay for our nanny. And it just became so much more. So um, I grew to diamond within four months in the business. Um, I went to conference right after that. I will never forget sitting in a hotel room with Alicia Gag and talking, trying to cleanse. It was launched and she had the cleanse because she was an ambassador. And I tried the cleanse and took a picture with it and told her after that conference, I was going to go double diamond. And I pulled out a chart that day for like the very first time I very organically went diamond. Um, I had never charted. It just kind of happened. And then I pulled out a chart and I was seven distributors away from going double diamond. I went double diamond that month, um, triple diamond two months later, and then presidential a year later. I've been presidential for two years now and in July and uh, quit my job two years into the business, um, have been a top 150 income earner the last two years and absolutely love this journey. Can't believe this is my life. And yeah, that's my story. <laughs> we have work night tonight. That's Casey. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Hey so, girl. Yeah. yeah. So I'm at Casey's right now. Perfect. So. Even better. Yeah. Um, okay. So Awesome. And I, before we get into this next question, I just want to preface too. I wanted to say in the beginning, um, that I meant to say in the beginning is Lauren is that person for me that I didn't know I needed in my life until she stepped in. I'm a very yellow, delicate, soft flower, like personality. And Lauren is just this like fierce boss babe, amazing, just she can tell it like it is. And she's so good at just kind of kicking my butt and, but in like the, the best way possible. And I just kind of, I want to know how like that side of you has translated into this business. Like what are some things that you do um, on a daily um, that you've kind of trained yourself to do over the last few years? Um, what is like a typical day look like? Stuff like that. Okay. Um, well, thank you so much for saying that. So I am definitely red and I always keep it real. Can you guys hear me? Okay. It said my internet connection was unstable. Okay, good. Um, I'm definitely red and I've learned to have a filter more than I ever have by doing this business, but I still like, there's no taking the red out of the girl. Um, so you know, but I think once people get to know me, they realize like, I'm going to be red because I love you so much. And I just see so much in you and I'm going to push you to do things you just don't want to do. Um, so anyways, that is my personality. So what is, what is the first question you want me to answer, Ashley? Sorry. No, you're good. Um, so basically what, what it is, um, that you, do on a daily, what kind of things, um, as far as income producing activities, how are you able to bang out these amazing months, month after month after month of being in this business? And, um, just kind of talk about stuff like that. So, 
Yeah, so I think like, you know, I want to be able to speak to people who are brand new here, but I also want to be able to speak to people who've been in the game for five, you know, plus years. Um, and so I think that's what you'll get from this, but it, it evolves. Your, what you do every day evolves. So if you're brand new here, like take tips from this, but like just know that you're not going to do everything I'm doing. Um, I was a steps to success girl um, for sure when I first started. Like I struggled to get my first four customers. It, I didn't get one customer until I was in business for 21 days. And the only reason I hit my steps to success within 60 days in the business was because I had a launch party. And that was literally because my sponsor forced me to. So, um, you know, my, what I was doing on a daily basis, like early in the business was just really networking, getting my profile clean. At that time it was posting three times a day on social media because stories like were nothing yet. And, you know, I was just like learning a lot. I was watching so many YouTubes. If you're new, you guys like literally just go on YouTube and search like top income earners at works. Um, ask your sponsor, like who could I watch videos of? I went to bed every single night listening to, to YouTubes and it was not even just for like learning, but for inspiration, the more people I heard talk about being successful, the more I believed I could be successful in this business. And so every single night I would put earphones in and I would fall asleep listening to Zooms or YouTube videos um, of people that like were successful in this business. And that was huge for me because like, you know, I not only learned tips and um, learned like how they worked their business, but I also learned like how to... Um, Casey, sorry, I'm just getting really distracted. Um, so I have ADD too. So just, you guys know. um, but I was, that's what I did in the beginning of this business. And then, um, my first messages, you guys, that I sent out to people, you would literally die laughing if you saw them. I, I will say I was aggressive. So I like was definitely what you call, um, ignorance on fire. Like I, took 60 people. They said, do your hundreds list. Anything my sponsor told me to do, I did. And you have to be a good student in this business. And you cannot like try to think you're going to do this your own way. Especially if you're brand new, just do what your sponsor says. When they said, do your hundreds list, I did my hundreds list. I sat down. I wasn't, I'm not a person who's like, well, I can't think of hundred people. I'm like, okay, you say do a hundreds list. I'm going to find a hundred people to send a message to. And so I literally sent out like this crazy message that was like, Hey girl, this is Lauren. I'm on Facebook, right? Like I think I'm leaving a voicemail, but I'm like typing. This is Lauren Murphy. Um, I send, um, I just joined this health and wellness company. We have over 40 products. It's actually like a beauty business too. Um, we have this $10,000 bonus. You could be making like $500 a month. Plus if you get like two people on your team, you guys, I was like all over the place. Like the message on Facebook is legitimately this long. Um, and that was my first messages. And I don't, I had one person join me, um, from like all those messages that I sent out, but like you learn and, and you evolve and you just learn what's right and wrong. And I promise you, if you just like keep going, you'll learn and you'll look back and laugh and it's just all part of the journey. Um, so if you're new, just do anything that you think feels right. Honestly, um, listen to your sponsor when they tell you and just show up, like ask questions, blow up your sponsor's, um, inbox or their phone and ask questions and just say, what could I be doing today? Like, and trust them because that's like the biggest thing. Um, and then now my life in the business looks different. Like I have a really big team. So a lot of my time is spent mentoring people, you know, um, and helping them. I would say that I spend seriously a good two hours a day sending, um, responses to my team. So I tell everybody screenshot me what they say and I'll write back what you should say exactly. So I'm spending, I would say an hour to two hours a day just writing responses for my team and re and sending it back to them to send out. Um, I could say I post on social media, but I think that's like a given you guys posting on Facebook um, and Instagram. It's like, if you're not doing that, like we need to talk about other things. Like, like I, you know, um, and then doing stories and integrating my life along with the products, you know, I think these are things you hear over and over again. So I feel like it's so repetitive. So I think sometimes 
when we get on these trainings, like these are givens, right? So I want to give you like the meat and potatoes. Like how do you drive your business outside of like, Oh, I post, Oh, I do stories of my products. You know, um, mine is really heavily around. Like you have to be, um, a good leader. If you have even one person on your team, like checking in on them, I will tell you guys, I used to be a leader. I'm so red that if they didn't just like hit the ground running, I was like, well, you'll either run, you know, I used to say my pace will match yours, but like, I'm really learning. Like there are so many different color personalities in this business and a yellow needs you. You have to meet the needs of the person. I read, um, the servant leadership book and it talked about like adjusting your leadership style to meet the needs of those on your team. And I have started doing that and it has helped tremendously. Um, a yellow can be really good in this business. A green can be really good in this business. A blue can be really good in this business. And when I was red, I viewed anyone who wasn't red as, well, you're just not going fast enough for me. And that's not true. Um, I just had to adjust my leadership style because red is so overwhelming for a yellow, especially when you're meeting people on Facebook. Um, so it's really like, if it's, it's really identifying people's color personality. So I'm, I'm literally using part of my day to just have conversations with my team and get to know them and getting on zooms. I, I do zooms all the time and it's not just for my personally enrolled. Like I am reaching down and saying, if I notice somebody like doing stuff or I notice the enrollments, I reach out to them and I just say, Hey, tell me about you. Okay. Let's jump on a zoom. Like, or if people inbox me and ask me like a pretty in-depth question, I don't even hesitate. Let's jump on a zoom. People need that connection. Um, you can get to know the personality. Um, a yellow needs to be, you know, probably they love words of affirmation. So, you know, a yellow needs to be told like when they just even make a post, Oh my God, your latest post was so good. Um, you know, a red could like literally care less about being told their last post was good. They just want to know when they're making their next paycheck. And so it's really like learning your people and being a good coach and being a servant leader to them, um, and showing up for them every single day. Um, I think that's like a big part of my day is really coaching and teaching and training. Um, enrollments now, you guys, I will say like for the longest time, I, I'm still like, I sign like between like four and six distributors. Like I'm never, I've never been like a, I mean, have I had months where I signed like 10 and 20 and stuff? Yeah. When we have like promotions. Um, but like on average, it's like four to six, um, distributors a month, but I do enroll probably like 20 to 30 customers now. Um, I will say, I think the two biggest things that contribute to that are I do my stories every single day. Like I do not care that I look like this. Like I make my coffee every morning. I don't wait till I'm completely ready. Um, and I can't tell you how many people have told me I'm just so relatable and real and they trust me. And that's why like, they've seen, okay, girl, I can't tell you how many messages I get that go. Okay, girl, I want you to make your coffee like 80,000 times. I need to try it. So it's just like a matter of time. Like people need to see it like day after day after day. And I make my damn coffee every day, every day, every day. Um, and so like, you know, using the products yourself and being on stories every single day, um, and doing like that kind of stuff. But I also think the other half of signing and going up from signing like four customers a month to signing, um, like 20 to 30 is honestly like time. I've been doing this now for four years. So people have been watching me. I've been very consistent over four years. Like I've never taken a break from this business. I've never like, you know, said, okay, I'm not going to post or, I'm, I've never ever done that. So over four years, people are watching you. I mean, you guys, there are people who've been friends with me for four years, just now becoming my customers. Um, so I just think like, as you build your following, I didn't even have an Instagram when I started. Um, and I literally had like 300 something friends on Facebook. I was like that person that was like, if I don't actually know you, I'm not going to be friends with you on Facebook. Um, so I literally like, you know, didn't have a big following. And so I just think like, don't, if you're new here, um, like just know that you can be a mass enroller at some point. It just might not be today. Like I think about people like Dee Brooks, like when she joined the business, she was a mass enroller, like from the get go. 
but she had a following already from something else. So you have to stop and ask yourself that question. When you join this business, like, did you come in with a big following for some reason? Were you already great at social media? If you were, then sure, go into the game and have that expectation for yourself because you can probably hit it. But if you weren't somebody who was like crazy active on social media or had a great following, you can be a mass enroller, but you have to give yourself time and grow that following and give people a reason to follow you. So um, I think that's just like really important to note. Um, and so, you know, I would say it took me a good two years and it was like a gradual process. You know, like I used to sign four customers, then I started signing about 10 um, probably two years in the business and now it's like up to 20 to 30. And I will tell you, it's a direct reflection of me. Um, I know when five days goes by, like, and I haven't signed a customer, like I know why, like I haven't been as aggressive as I need to be with my stories or calls to action. And there's little things that I do that are lazy. So I'm going to tell you guys my lazy things because like, these are the things that make a difference. So while I say I make my coffee every morning, I can upload a story of me making coffee and it's four slides long. And I can just press load or I can know from studying Instagram stories of what works that if you, that some people watch stories and they never turn on the volume. So if you put captions on your stories that actually set, like re spell out exactly what you're saying, people will become more interested um, because some people are reading and some people never turn on the volume. So if they come across your story and you're just talking, 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 and they don't turn on the volume and there's no captions, they're literally going tap, 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 tap. But if you put on words that takes more time, they're reading. So there's some, you have to know that there's some people watching your stories, but they're not hearing you. So you put words on there and then on your very last story, um, I notice a major difference when I do calls to action. So again, doing like swipe ups, adding emojis, um, and doing swipe ups and saying, you know, swipe up and type 40% off or type keto me for 40% off. Like there's a major time difference in doing all those things or just posting my story or posting my coffee. So will I ever not post my coffee? No. Like I at least do the bare bones of that, but that's what I'm talking about of like leveling up and owning your shit is did you just load the story or did you write the captions? Did you do the call to action? Um, you know, are you going back and seeing who viewed your story? Are you interacting? So there's ways to work this business and I've been posting every day and I've been, but like in the end of the day, if you're holding yourself accountable, you know, like what's really, and, and then I get on my own butt and work the business. So um, every single day, like that's kind of like my routine, um, is just pouring into my team being like super like training for them. Um, obviously posting and doing stories all throughout my day. Um, and then every single day, like it is a non-negotiable for me, you guys is I do, um, I add 50 people on Facebook. I follow a hundred new people on Instagram every single day. And then on Sundays I unfollow anyone who doesn't follow me back. So I use the app Captivate. And um, I will tell you the best tip I've had lately though, to get more followers on Instagram, and it has been working for me, is two things. And unless you've been in this, if you've been in the business for a while, this will make a lot of sense to you. Go ahead and do this. If you're newer to Instagram and you haven't been like doing a lot with Instagram, just organically get some followers. Um, and don't worry about this tip. But I have been going to the Explore page and on the explore page, like it's a lot of, um, let's say like, uh, influencers, you know, and I don't want to go follow a ton of influencers or all their followers. Cause I'm not posting same stuff as them or same kind of content as them, but I'm clicking on like their first five people that engaged with them. And I'm actually clicking on those people and going and liking six of their pictures and commenting on at least two. So they're getting about eight notifications for me and I'm not even following them, but they're literally getting eight notifications for me and coming and looking at my profile. And I'm getting a ton of followers from that. Again, more work than just following people with Captivate or following a hundred people. Like I can follow a hundred people on Instagram in three seconds. Um, but it takes me a while to go through like my explore page, click on like five people you know, go to their profile, actually like, like six of their things, comment on at least two of them. But I'm waking up with like 30 to 40 new followers, um, every single day. And that is a big jump for me. Um, don't you feel like if you do it that way, you're going to be getting a little bit more, I 
people should say like people that have more things in common with you because yeah. if I'm not mistaken, the explore, like I'm not very Instagram savvy. I'm just now about five years later getting into all of this. Thank you. Hey, me too. Me too. Uh, but, yeah. But the explore page, if I'm not mistaken, shows content to like that you are interested in yes. or things that like that. So by doing that, you're essentially going to people that have that interest. Yes. And it's like a mutual thing. And in right. the long run, you are going to be gaining followers who have something in common with you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So that's kind of um, what has been working with me. Cause I will say like, I was down the rabbit hole with Captivate for a while. I feel like I would follow, follow, follow. And then by the time I went to unfollow anyone who didn't follow me back, it was like I gained like 16 followers or something, you know, like it was just like this up, this constant, like I've been stuck at 4,000 followers for like 17 years and I'm not even kidding. Um, and then I like almost made an announcement when I had 4,000 followers and I'm like, okay, I better wait till I have like 4,500 because like I've had 4,000 and then 3,000 before, like down, not down to 3,000, but like 3,800 or whatever. So that's stressful. Um, that's stupid. That's like the stupidest thing I ever just said. That's stressful. That's not stressful, but you know, like your followers, you can't really announce 4,000 in like a big four balloon and everyone's like, you have 3,500 followers. Um, anyway, so that's all of us reading into our own stuff, by the way. So I hope you can relate there. Um, and then the other thing is, um, there is a, actually like a lot of people that I've talked to lately use this website called Upwork and you can actually like hire someone and you just pay them through PayPal. Um, and you can hire people and they're like, you know, all over the place and you can interview them and you can pay like a lot of these people work for like $5 an hour. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's like a cash situation. And um, they work and you can like actually have them like work your Instagram for you and like follow people. So if you're like somebody who works full time, like you could just teach them how to follow and, um, and, and interact. And like, I know a lot of people in this industry now are utilizing that tool and they're following or they're, um, doing it once like a day or once every other day. And they said it's been like very helpful because that is time consuming. So they're not actually like interacting or doing any messaging, but just to gain followers um, and to like, you know, have them like kind of going out and attracting followers. So if you've been in the business and in the industry for a while, that might be something you might be interested in. Um, if you have more questions about that, you can reach out to me, but it was definitely like a tool that I was super interested in. So I thought others might be as well. Um, yeah, I feel okay. like I went all, off on a tangent, but that's no, it's good. It's you know. good. It's all content that needs to be set, so it's perfect. Um, and I think we kind of hit already on the importance. You and I talked about this, like the importance of consistency and how that really. Sorry, was that loud? Um, how how this plays into your business and your ultimately your success and how important consistency is. You know, we always talk about not giving up, not quitting. I mean, that's a no brainer. Um, because I mean, if you quit, how is that going to get you any further into what you want to achieve in your life? Right. So like, that's an absolute no brainer within this business is obviously do not quit. Do not give up. Um, so simple. Right. And yet people do all the time. Yeah. Um, which I guess blows my mind. Um, but we talked a little bit about consistency, um, how you are consistent every single day doing these things how this plays into your business and your success with us. And um, so I don't really need, feel like we need to go too much into that. I mean, I feel like we hit, hit a lot. Um, but I did want to talk about this month specifically because we brought back the bonuses. Um, there's just a lot of good stuff happening. And we've been saying this the last few months. This year just seems different. And I've been in for five and a half years. You've been in for what, four? Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of us on here have been in for quite some time, but there's just something different about this year. Um, like there's this fire and this energy and this excitement. And like, I literally, my heart right now, like just saying that, which is always a confirmation for me, like in my direction and where I'm going in life. I like, I get this feeling right here and me just saying that to you guys, like I could cry because it's like this overwhelming sense of, I am exactly 
where I'm supposed to be doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And I feel so much in my heart that everybody who is a part of this feels the same way too. Right. So, um, I want to know because June is here. We're a few days in what is like your roadmap to, um, to success? Like what, what can you do this month to achieve these bonuses or to get after it? Like what would you tell your team to essentially do to light a fire and get to work? I mean, I think like above all, like, and I mean this with every bone in my body, it is literally a decision that you claim and make on the beginning of this, of the month. Um, like you're right. Like these bonuses, I can't believe Mark brought them back this month. Honestly, like I did not think they were coming back. Like I thought last month was for sure the last month. Um, and you're right there. This reminds me of 2015 when I started like every freaking month, there's just more and more and more people promoting. And I think that that should be like validation to you that there's so many people doing this here. Like there's no reason. The only reason you're not having success right now is because of you holding yourself back. And it's most likely a mental state because the company has ha insane promotions right now. I mean, and if you're new here, you probably don't follow like a lot of people um, yet. So you might not see it as much, but I'm telling you like, I mean, I don't even know how many um, people are promoting to presidential and ambassador, but just to put it in perspective for you, the month I promoted to presidential, I was the only person in the entire company that promoted to presidential the month I promoted to presidential. Like, I mean, now you promote to presidential. It's like, oh, sounds good because there's so many people that promote to presidential. I mean, it's like literally like, yeah, Christy just promoted presidential a couple months ago and she said there was 30 the month she promoted. You guys, it is insanity. So you have to make a decision and you have to make a commitment um, in terms of it. It's not going to be simple. Like it's not just going to fall into your lap. These people that are working this business are like literally giving it their all, but I promise you it's worth it. Um, and you're going to do like a lot of work and you're going to show up and you're going to have to do whatever you need to do. And I get it. Like, okay. Like I love Cheyenne Knox so much and I look up to her so much. Um, but my life is nothing like Cheyenne Knox's. She's a single girl with no kids and does this business legitimately full time. That's it. I can't run my business and I'm not going to look to her and ask her how she runs her business because my life doesn't parallel to hers. So you, but there are people in this industry who are going ambassador who have two kids, um, a husband who works and travels and I'm reaching out to them and getting tips and advice from them. And ultimately the, the secret that I have is that you already know what you need to be doing. And so when you're messaging these people and saying, give me your tips, if you would just sit down and be real with yourself, you would say, okay, I need to get up at 5am. Or I, if you're not a morning person, I need to stay up until midnight after my kids go to bed. Um, or I need to be consistent with my stories and write the captions on there and do the swipe ups. Or I need to be reaching out to my team and touching base with them. Or I need to be meeting people in the middle and seeing like who needs a love today, who needs grat um, gratitude today, who needs this today. Um, and that's like ultimately like what I think is that if you really took a, a moment, you know, and, and how I do it is I sit in my car and I turn on 99.1 and I literally like sit there and just kind of pray and meditate. And I just, I really just kind of own my stuff and say like, okay, this is what I need to do. And I'm being really real and honest with you guys. My husband, my husband's account has been the same status for since January. Like he's been about 5,000 BBs from triple diamond. And I haven't claimed it or pushed it in this month. Like, yes, BBs. Um, I just claimed it this month and it was like, nothing changed. Nothing changed about his account that I'm like, Oh, I'm just so much closer. I've literally just been like, it's not that I'm comfortable. It's just my focus has been in other places. And I will say like, it is a good thing. My focus is heavily like, and those of you who have like a lot of legs working, I will say like, there's a part of me that's always like, I, how could I possibly need more? And I want to grow other people and like help other people and on my team who like really need this and all that. And so like, I'll get in the rut of like placing and, and helping other people grow over like my husband's account because there is you guys like 
this is for another Zoom, but I grew up extremely poor and I do get to a point where I'm like, I have everything I could ever possibly want in this world. Like, do I really need another triple diamond paycheck in my household, you know? And so that's where I struggled. But here's the deal. That is a crutch because I can help my team and I can place under my team and I can help my team promote and I can promote my husband's account. And my team doesn't need me to place under them. My team doesn't need my customers or my distributors because guess what? My team that is promoting, they don't need my help. They just need me to be present to them, cheering them on, leading by example and being the hardest worker in the room so that they're inspired by my fire. Your fire, your presence is every single thing that your team needs. So if you want your team to show up and promote and if you're sitting here saying, well, my team's not working, listen, half of my team isn't either. But because that's just the nature of this industry. You're going to sign probably 80% of your people are never going to do anything. The good news is you only need about five people that want to work as hard as you do, but you're, they're going to show up how you do always your kids. They don't listen to what you say. They do as you do your team. They're not really going to listen to you. They're going to watch your example and they're going to feed off of your fire. So if you want to grow and you want your team to promote, then you go freaking promote you. If your account's not close, then is your spouse's account close? Go promote their account. And so that's where like, I got really real with myself. And when I told myself on Sunday night, I said, if Mark, if Mark for some crazy reason, extends these bonuses, like I'm not missing it and I'm going to get that bonus and I'm going to promote Kyle's account because you know what? My team deserves to see something crazy happen because I haven't promoted since July of 2017. I went presidential in July of 2017. And like, I am very consistent. Like I've been in the top 150 and actually went higher this year than the previous year in rank. And I am very consistent with my business, but sometimes you just need that announcement and that, that boom and that promotion. And so I think that if you guys are all honest with yourselves, it's just like really committing to it. And I'm tired too. And I have a husband who travels and I don't want to get on zooms. And I will tell you, like I do like two to three times a week. I've been doing power hours that start at eight and stay on till midnight. Um, and you know, or till the last person gets off, it's typically around like 11 or midnight. It's always the same people that show up you know, and that's what I'm saying. Like those people are promoting. That's not an accident. If you show up, you go up bottom line. Um, and so I think that that's, do you have a, like literally I always picture, have you guys seen the meme where it's like the wall, like the, the rock wall and there's like the diamonds on the other side and there's like the one guy like hitting it and he's about to hit it. And there's the other guy turning around and it's like literally like right there, but he's turned around and he's walking away. And if he would just hit it one more time, he'd have all the diamonds. That's where you're at right now. You came to this Zoom for a reason tonight and you're the guy with the hammer and the diamonds are right here. And if you just keep hitting, you're going to hit those. And that's your choice. And that's the thing that you have to know is that you, but it's, but you have to keep hitting. You have to keep working. Um, so getting on this Zoom is great. Um, you know, feeling inspired. Most people are all freaking fired up for like five days of the month. And then day six, it's like June, June 6th, July 6th, August 6th. I hate it because everybody's like, well, nobody wanted to be my customer yet. I'm like, oh shit. You know? And like, that's the thing. Like you just have to be like, keep going. Like quit complaining. It's six days in, like we got 30 days. This is, you gotta have some more momentum people, you know? Um, and so that's what it takes. And every single one of you on here can be whatever rank you want to be and hit whatever goal you want to hit, but you have got to have a little more stamina, like just a little more, like let's make it through 30 days. And I promise you, if you have that stamina for 30 days, you're going to see a major shift. And that's what it takes. I do feel like in this business, it's like once you can, it's like the sugar thing. If you stop eating sugar for like 30 days, you'll make it. Like then you're like, oh, I don't even really want sugar anymore. You know, but most people can't get past day six. Day six like really sucks. Um, but if you keep going 30 days, then you'll be good. I feel like it's the same way in this business. You're going to hit Ruby. You're going to get a high. You're going to feel what that feels like and you're never going to look back. Um, and then you're going to get diamond and you're going to get that high and you're never going to look back. And all of a sudden you're going to be freaking triple diamond, getting a $10,000 plus paycheck. And you're going to be going, 
I need to put this in a secret bank account offshore because there's no way in hell that I just earned that much amount of money for posting on freaking Facebook. And somebody's coming back to take this from me sometime soon. So just keep going. And that is the fire that you need. But I will tell you, it's a very, very personal decision. And you have to ignite that fire inside of you. Like nothing that I say and nothing that I do is going to make you have that. It's a very, very personal decision. So that's, that's my, um, what I would say, Ash. Boom. That was <laughs> amazing and so true. And I feel like you were speaking right to me. So <laughs> I'm so beyond ready to see what this month brings. Let's just say that. So, um, okay. So do you have just real quick, um, a, any advice for anybody who, I mean, I feel like we've touched on this too, but something that we can leave with, um, the newer people um, who are going to be watching this and that are on the Zoom tonight, just any advice, um, like a good little nugget that you want to leave? Yeah. If you're brand new, like every single person on here is brand new. Like I got on my first Zoom and I was like with my notebook and I was like writing and I was actually not Zoom, it was called Periscope and we didn't have Zoom and I was like writing all these notes and I was like hanging on to every single word and just know that like this is the best industry because there's zero politics and every single person that joins this business starts in the exact same spot as you. And so while you see, and some of you that are red, like you want that $10,000 paycheck, like you didn't come here for 200 and you're not even going to be happy when you get your first $200 paycheck and that's okay. And I know that, but like to get the $10,000 paycheck, you have to have the $200 paycheck. And honestly, the work you're doing for that $200 paycheck is about the same as the work you're going to be doing for the $10,000 paycheck. It's just over and over and over again. So if you're brand new, like don't focus on everyone getting the $10,000 paycheck and say, well, I'm not there because it's not a matter of if it's when I learned that from Alicia gig. She gave me a little bracelet when I was about six months in the business that said, it's not a matter of if, but when, and I, that has stuck with me forever. And it's like, it's not a matter of if you're getting a $10,000 paycheck, it's a matter of when, and you will have a $10,000 plus paycheck. It's, but if you, you've just got to keep going. So don't overwhelm yourself. Don't watch this Zoom and go, oh God, I got to get Upwork going. I got to get 4,000 followers. I got 40 right now. I got to do this. I got to do that. No, it's like baby steps, be ignorance on fire and do the best that you know how to do and just be excited. And you're going to eventually be in that place. Um, and that's, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing for newbies. It's like just great and be a really good there for a reason they didn't get there by accident or chance like they know what they're doing and in this industry like no one's successful unless you are so nobody above you is telling you to do anything except for something to be successful because when you're successful we're successful so that's the thing that I always had the back of my head I'd say for a good year, I probably text message my sponsor and said, where should I place this? Where should I put this? I didn't even look. I had no idea what I was doing. She would actually get annoyed with me. She'd be like, can you print a chart? No, just tell me where to put it. I trust you. Um, but I trusted her and I knew she was good. And that's what I did. So, you know, just that, that would be my advice for newbies and just don't be overwhelmed. Just be excited and, and, um, know that you're in the right place and, you know, God places desires on your heart because there's a reason you're supposed to be here and you didn't just join this business to only come this far. Like there's a reason you're here. So just fulfill it and see it through. Amen. That was perfect. Okay. So any advice that you'd like to leave, um, a seasoned professionals in this business? Yeah. Okay. So probably along the same lines, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is, I think that like, I will say like, it gets weird when you're like not promoting, like there is this like phase where you're like running for like promotion after promotion. And it's like, it's so exciting to promote. Like I remember every single time I promoted and like where I was and what I was wearing, and what I was eating, which was like totally binge eating and biting my fingernails off. And like, you know, and so I think like, just if you're seasoned, like I will say like many of us, um, you know, have like either lost volume or maybe you lost rank or whatever, celebrate like those re hits, like just as much as you did the first time, like just because your lifetime rank is, you know, presidential diamond, like if you haven't been diamonds, like there are people who have dropped down to diamond from presidential, you know, like if you haven't been diamond, like re celebrate that, like just as much as you 
did the first time. Run after that just as hard as you did the first time and go celebrate with Prosecco on ice, like just as hard as you did the first time, because like it should not be seen as a negative thing. Like if you lost rank, if you're not losing rank, but maybe you have volume goals, like maybe your top, like your top volume was like 150,000. Um, but your volume hasn't been over a hundred, um, in a while, like hit that goal and go celebrate that. Because I think like ultimately as human beings, like we all need goals and you need to hit it. And, um, and you need things to shoot for and to hit for and like celebrations. And I do feel like after you, like tonight, when you asked me to interview me, I was like, Oh, I'm so old news. Like this kind of, kind of came out of nowhere. And I do feel like when you've been in the business for all, you do feel like that, but like people need to hear your story. Cause as much as like you feel like you're old news, like, we have such a high turnover rate. There's so many people coming in that want to hear your story. I have people on my team that I talk to daily and they're like, what, what'd you do before it works? And I'm like, what? Like, how do you not know that? You know? And it's like, because I don't tell my story anymore. Like, and, um, and so I think it's just like for the season people, like, I think you just have to find new things to celebrate and like really stay excited. And we need to do a better job of, um, celebrating ourselves and recognizing ourselves because like after you've been here for a while, it can kind of feel like, you know, I've been there, done that kind of thing, but it's like, no, like if you're re-ranking, like that's huge. Um, I was just telling Alicia like last month I was texting her about presidential and I was like, I'm going out and freaking celebrating like a mad woman, um, when that happens and I'm going to, you know? And so, um, I just think that that's like, a really big deal. Um, and just being transparent and honest, I think so many people are afraid to say that they've lost a rank or afraid to talk about like dropping ranks. So they can't quite celebrate when they've hit something because they're ashamed to even say something. Well, welcome to the club. Like everyone has been, there's highs and lows in this business. And so, um, I think that's like my biggest advice is just, find that fire inside of you. And I think so many people can't find the fire because they're so ashamed of or feel so defeated by like losing rank that they're paralyzed. And so I think just finding going by their past and yeah. that's the thing that I've worked through endlessly. Yeah. I feel like the last couple of years really is yeah. just being so caught up in what happened instead of like allowing that space in your brain that you're like focusing so hard on that one thing. Yeah. Allow that other space to be taken up with like something positive and um more abundance thinking and I feel like once that has like switched I can tell a huge difference within just even the last you know month or so really just a yeah. difference and it happens so quickly too like it's such a rapid thing like mm -hmm. you said before like making that decision going for something but it's really like it's so definitive. Like, you know, when you make a choice and things are about to happen, mm -hmm. like it's bananas. It makes yeah. your heart race. Like you just have like this overwhelming sense of peace and clarity. And I can tell you 110% I had that on June 1st and it just, it's such a good feeling, but you've got to like allow yourself to get there. And yeah. the only person that is ever going to make that happen is you. There's nobody else that can make that happen. Um, I can talk till I'm blue in the face to Alicia and nothing, you know, it's, it's not going to change anything if I'm not going to do something. So right. I think too, like a lot of people are afraid they're a one hit wonder, but if you like really think about it, like one hit wonder is even a thing because it's so rare like the one hit wonders of the world are so rare that they only have like a one hit wonder that like, it's not common to be a one hit wonder, you know, like you're not a one hit wonder. It's, it's actually hard to be a one hit wonder. If you were successful one time, like you're a hundred percent probably more capable of being successful than you are to be a one hit wonder if you actually try. Um, and so I think that that is, huge and it's it's all a mindset you know it's just like a mind and a focus and I think the another thing honestly like and then I'll stop on this but for seasoned people I think you think you don't have to show up anymore I think a lot of people get in this place of like I know what I'm doing 
I know how to assign customers. I know how to assign distributors. I know how to train. I don't have to go to Zooms. You guys, I go to every freaking Zoom that is available to me. When I see Zooms on the leadership page, I go to those. Whenever there's Zooms here, I go to them. Whenever um, Alicia, you know, if you guys don't know who Alicia is, if you're new here, she's our ambassador upline. When Alicia asks us to step up and do something, like even though my plate is full, I always say, yes, I'll help you. Like, because it's not because like, I know I need that. I know that I need to be engaged in my business. I know that I need to be showing up. I know that I need to go to Zooms. And I know that I need to hear the same thing over and over and over again. And it's stuff I've heard over and over again for four years. But like, it's just, it's showing up and it's staying engaged in your business. Like you do need to show up. You do need to go to Zooms. You do need to, you know, work. So I think a lot of people forget that the longer they've been in the business. Yep. You're so right. So right. Yeah. All right. Um, Chris, Leisha, anybody, do you guys have anything else that you want to add? Any, um, questions that you want to ask her? Anything you want to end this on ma'am? You good? Okay. All right. Oh, thanks guys. Thanks for interviewing me. Ashley, it like literally like made my day that you asked me. So thank you. And the best I'm telling you, you have, I mean, I've known you for four years and who would have thought that Missy Moo over here who would never put on a network shirt or ever do that crazy thing. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you guys, just so you know, this is like, I know we got to get off here and it's 930, but like, I literally showed up to the very first um, meeting. We used to do local meetings. Um, and I showed up to the very first meeting in a pink shirt, like a hot pink shirt, and everyone's in their It Works gear. And we like went around the cir a circle and everyone was like saying their goals and like where they saw themselves in like four months, five months. And I was like, yeah, I was one of the last ones and everyone was like talking about leaving their jobs and doing all this and I literally was like I mean I have like a really good job and I don't know like I don't know how you guys just like put all your eggs in one basket with this industry but like I will never quit my job and like I will never do this full time so I don't really know what to say right now <laughs> And then we like wrote our fears on this paper and burned to them. And I was like, and I don't really have any fears. So I'm not really sure. I mean, basically I made a really good first impression. Everyone wanted to be my best friend. I was super inspiring. Um, and everyone went and burned their fears and I didn't because I didn't have any. So, <laughs> um, but now we all BFFs, So it's fine. You know, it only took. I think that there's a lot of, a lot of those statements came from fear. Like if you want to get really deep into the psychological situation of that, me straight up saying, I'll never quit my job. I don't know how you put all your eggs in one basket. Like I was so fearful of like doing things a different way because I was taught I had to do them one way my whole life. And it was ingrained in me. And I was so, so stuck on corporate America because it's safe, you know? So anyway been a really good journey and I love you guys for accepting me into the group <laughs> and we're just getting started I feel I feel oh like oh my god that's the craziest thing like I cannot believe I've been doing this for four years I really can't like you know I was at a job for four years and I was like oh my god four years like I need something new and it's just like this industry is so fun it's always changing it's like it's ever evolving and I love that about this like you can reinvent yourself at any given moment, any given time. I mean, I remember a year ago, I wasn't even working Instagram at all. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah. Like, not even a little bit. And in one year's time, I have completely transformed my business because of Instagram. And it's just like, I just made a decision. I was going to try this avenue and see how it worked for me. And with my profession as a, you know, a full-time photographer, as well as doing this, like, I just seemed like, okay, I probably do that. And, and, you know, it's just an ever evolving business and ever evolving mindset and just really stretching yourself. And, um, yeah, so I love that about this. You can be anybody you want to be. You just have to decide that that's who you're going to be. So, yeah, for sure. So. All righty. Well, anything else? I feel like that was, that was it. It was good. 
I thought it was great. Thanks, Ash. You asked great questions. So Thanks. I hope it helped you guys. If you ever need anything, I'm just one click away. Send me an inbox. I never ask whose team you're on. I'll just respond. So if you need help, <laughs> I love you. I'll never know. So, all right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.